Hello everybody, the Wonder Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we explored some of this, uh, Milk Meadows, and we found this, uh, fabricator thing in this, uh, I already forget what it's called, but it's basically, we put, we found some ether stuff, and we're basically gonna have to find a lot more ether to find more of these, and open these containers to get more stuff, and, uh, we... We, f we met these uh, trader pawns, and I'm gonna see if he has anything There's that we so can choice. buy for us. And, uh. Guess we can only. I'll just buy this and this then. And, uh. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to this. Shill Shill here because he has a quest for us. Hello, customer. Can Shill Shill request a favor in return for a handsome reward? What kind of favor? It's not big favor. Shill Shill only making register of friends. How does that work then? Caravan of Shill Shill not only not about car caravan world, you know. Shill Shill have many compatriots in many places. Shill Shill not trying to make formal register of said chums. You're a traveler. Just do it yourself a a a as you go along, innit? Well, Shilshil want very much to do this, but it's currently waiting for teacher. So Shilshil stuck here. Giver is this, if you choose to accept. Talk to Nopon merchants like Shilshil when you meet them. We can do that. Shilshil will know friends have, have what it takes. It's a bit weird to ask people you barely know to do this, but whatever. There's 19 caravans and all. What? That's loads! When there's so many Nopon who cooperate like Shilshil and Mimo, it will not be a problem. Talk to Nopon about requesting friends get stoned like this. Come back when all are collected. Yellow Nopon Pebble. A yellow stone. Not only yellow, but red and blue too. Shil 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 will want you, want you to collect all. I believe they call this Mission Creep. Thank you for kindness. You really help helping Nopon in need. Alright, we accept. Just as long as you're not in any kind of hurry. Right, we can certainly keep an eye out. And we got Nopon Register. And I guess this is one of those quests where they don't actually show you where to go. It's just like, anytime you randomly end up in, like finding a knob on a, a trader pawn or whatever. So let's talk to Shilshil. Sell valuable, valuable materials to Shilshil in exchange for monies. Heavy items also. We'll save on bother of selling at ca caravan. Excellent. So that, that sounds like an efficient approach. Meh, but friends should not forget completely about caravan. Stop by for extra shoppings there. Okay, so let us go and uh, go to a camp and interact. Let's make the most of our break, guys. And can we level up again? Oh, we can. To level 15. Nice. Gonna be leveling everyone. There we go. I definitely feel stronger. And let us rest. Oh, I'm dead. On. Loading. It's taking forever. No, no, no! More to the right! Right there! Start lowering! Make sure it's airtight! Stand around here, finer than Ruska flower. I could do a triple weld. Sure. Long as the output's stable. Yes, sir! What's up with the K-Rounds? We're two caches short. Hope you didn't snuff up the order. I don't know, okay? Got a problem, take it up with logistics. We're just a dirt rank colony. Low as they come. You think the castle gives a crap? A Queen's Oath, this pisses me off. 
We get better scores than any sparking colony out there. Did you know? For ten rank field rations, I hear they get Arden meat. Really? And us mudders? Trust me, you really don't want to know. <sighs> I miss the good old silver days. Didn't have to rely on rations back then. We had cooks come and serve us right on the front line. Used to get Armu sirloin, we did. Seriously? Oh, hey! What now? My own indiscretion has caused you difficulties. I'm sorry. No! Uh, we would never... Our apologies, uh, Commander Ethel. That was all, uh, just banter. Believe me, we had no intention of... You enjoyed eating our mistake, did you? Uh... Yes, I did. Tastiest food I ever ate. I liked it as well. And I hope we will have it again. So lend me your strength. Mom! Yes, Mom! I don't see what's wrong with Wolf, personally. <laughs> That's because you have poor taste. I'm jealous. Oh, well. Trade you my taste buds? No, thank you. My mouth had turned as foul as yours. <laughs> True that. They cleared out real fast. I hear the attending consul is a particularly punctual sort of character. Please not another stickler for the rules. Can't be long now. Yep. Got about five minutes to go. Whoa! Well, well, Consul dear. Your reputation certainly precedes you. insufferably dusty around here. Clearly, the place befits its dirt rank status. The rainy season will soon be upon us. I ask your patience for just this short while. Is that so? Then, leaving aside the issue of cleanliness, just what is with all this fog? I don't take kindly to my vision being obfuscated. Go oh, forget it. So, where are my quarters? Yes, this way. <sighs> what a filthy room. How the dirt rank has fallen. <sighs> I suppose that would be something to take up with the castle. Arthuronis is an old model. I understand your displeasure. But please don't escalate this. Do I detect some defiance? No, no, that, that was never my... Relax, girl, I jest. Now then, let's cut the chit-chat and talk business. I'd like you to eradicate some vermin for me. Vermin? By your leave, sir, we've detected no movement from Agni and Pharonesis around this area. Not Agnes. People. Soldiers. 
A band of deserters from both sides. Well, something like that. Agnes and Kevis, both. Ha! <laughs> I think it's best you see for yourself. Hmm. This is expressly at the Queen's behest. Don't foul this up. Looking at something? Oh, nothing in particular, really. It's just kind of a habit. Checking our status, the war. Watching for info updates. Silly. <laughs> Don't know why I still bother to check it anymore. Not like there'd be updates. Oh. What is it? An icon just popped up. Over your head. Huh? Oh, yeah. Now I can see an icon for you as well. When did we unlock a feature like this? I've never noticed it before. Yours seems to be the only one not locked. Huh? What? Like a sparking light bulb. I guess there must still be more to this feature. Hey, that's Mimi's. What in the blazes? I've never used this kind of blade before, but all the techniques I can use with it are flashing before my eyes. So weird. Not like we suddenly just gained the knowledge out of the blue, but as if it were always ingrained deep within us. Strange. Oh, doesn't look like I can get Mimi's gear. Now that's a shame. Hmm. This it. <gasps> How come I got Moody guts and not Noah's, huh? That's what I'd like to know. Your class is the only one I can seem to pick, unfortunately. Whoa! You can lug this thing about without a power frame. Not bad. Don't know how this is even working, but cool. But is this all part of Ouroboros too? If it gives us more options in battle, I'm all for it. Yeah, I want to take this new blade out for a spin. From here, we head due south, right? Perfect. We can test them out on the road. Uh, changing classes. Go to char characters' classes to change a character's class. Every class is, is, has its quirks and characteristics. So be sure to just play around with as many as you can. Upon winning a battle, you will receive class points that will increase your class up. Rank. The, qu the quickest way to increase class rank is to continually use one class. Master Arts settings. Go to characters' arts in the main menu to set up the characters of Master Arts. By raising your rank of a character's class, you can eventually master that class's arts. If you switch to another class, you can set, set those arts to mas into master arts sub slots. The number of, av av of available sub slots will increase as your character is gained levels. Also, note that Kevasi's classes can only set Agnian class arts as master arts and vice versa. Setting master skills. As your class rank rises, you'll start to gain mastery of the skills it wields. Master skills can be used to independent of classes. 
You can set skills master on other classes from the main menu character skills. Alright. So we have a whole bunch of uh, an open menu with X. You can change the classes of individual characters. Next you'll want to select class. The list of available classes is displayed on the right side of the screen. Also assign Noah at the Zephyr class. I'll protect you. Now let's change Mio's class to Sword Fight. I'm fine with attacking. Let's change Yuni's class to Tactician. I'll heal you right up. Let's change Tyan's class to Medic Gunner. Why better to monitor the battle than on healing duty? Let's change Lance's class to Ogre. So I got a whacker. I can do that. Let's change Senna's class to Heavy Guard. Good care for the bad guys. Now that Noah's class has been switched to Zephyr, let's set up his master arts. It's time to set our first master arts. First, select, select Noah. Master arts are set up, up from the arts menu. To the left of the regular arts slots are the master arts subslots. Sub Mastering an art with another class and setting it here will allow you to use it while playing as another class. Crowd beat! Let's let say wide slash to Mio's arts master arts. And let's let wide slash. Let's set uh, Mio myopic screen to Uni's master arts. Let's set Dark Banner to Tyon's Master Arts. Dark Banner. Let's set Crash Cut Crash Out to Lance's Master Art. Crash Out! Let's set Giant Swing to Senna's Master Art. Giant Swing! Once you finish setting your Master Arts, you can we can move on to setting up Master Skills. Okay, it's time to set up your first Master Skills. First, set up, select Noah. Master skills can all be all set from the skill set section. Skills have their own designated slots. Go ahead and set the sword, fi sword fighter skill cy Cypher Edge. Let's set split sec seconds counter to Mio's master skills. Let's set Ninja Killer to Uni's master skills. That's an ether roll ability to Matayan's master skills. That's a defensive soul to Lanza's master skills. That's a fighting prowess to Senna's master skills. Now that you finish setting up your master skills, exit the menu. You will not be able to change classes or edit master arts for a time. These options will become unlocked again after you progress in the main stories. Mio's class, the Zephyr. All right, so that's pretty out. cool. I want to, yes, I want to play as Mio, uh, Mio Maybe for, uh, for a bit. So, uh, yeah, let's wait. Where do we go? Uh, kind of confused as to why I'm not able to see where to go, but oh well. I actually want to go this way because there's a lot of, uh... Oh, crap. Alright, see this here? It's Mo Mo Mordo Blast. Go. It's down. Sure I did, Santa. You look great. And let's see. Here's a goodie. You uh, there's just a heavy frog that's after us. Yep. 
buff for you. Move is always, Noah. Oh. And there we go, conquer. Okay, so now I want to go and uh, fight. Th there's this uh, orange, like aura, like the two things on the both sides of the level 12 on this enemy right here. Indiscreet Gombaba. That is definitely a a uh, unique monster. Out. So I am going to try this out. Hopefully, I won't die. Oh, and there we go. Oh crap. And there we go. Oh boy, this is bad. Oh dang it. No one's about to die. Come on. Oh no, come on. I was literally almost down. Please. Almost. And defeated! Noah was literally about to die there. I lift, therefore I win. Wow. Good thing we found this. That was a close one. And ooh, we find we see an ether channel here. Don't mind if I do. Don't forget to collect that. I highly doubt I will be able to find all of them right away, at least. So uh that's pretty good. Oh, I see this, uh... You know, let's take out Here this hand go, on it. Let's give him the usual, Noah! Out of my face! You're dealing with me, thanks! Crap, we'll figure it out, I guess. Aww, uh, rank up, I we guess. were just getting started. I wanna go... Right, let's try it out on these uh, critters. So have to go pretty hey, close. Hey, still new to us. Don't run There we go. But Aragon Rogel. And it's down. He got the blood pump at least. Uh, Guys, oh wait. I guess we have to fight these uh rebels. Right. We use the same time. Uh, fusion arts. Fusion arts lets you use a class art fuse with its paired master arts effects when both are recharged. Hold the art with and press the class art button to use the fusion art. Canceling fusion arts. Using fusion arts allows you to chain and cancel multiple art artifacts together. Arts in, arts into fusion arts, fusion arts into arts, and fusion arts into other fusion arts. Okay. Both arts fully charged. Uh, guess we have to wait until ground beat is uh, fully charged. Part of me thinks these uh, types of tutorials are pretty annoying and they kind of take a while because I'm just waiting for the arts to be recharged. 
And I'll try to get around beat. What? Oh. Guess we have to wait again. We just have to wait until White Flash is ready. Come on. Okay. Use that. What? Why didn't that work? Okay, I guess it worked. Use ours with DR. Win the battle. Okay, there we go. Finally. That was kind of annoying. I felt a lot more nimble there, like the way you usually fight. It looked like second nature to you. It was crazy. You should have seen yourself. <laughs> I think I could have thrashed you with a little more practice. You know, it's totally bananas. Ouroboros is bonkers powerful. Right? Ah! The gauge for the locked icon has filled right up. Same here. So logically, if we gain enough experience by fighting together, we will become able to use each other's classes. That seems to be it. As much as I'd like to experiment. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't stay in one place for too long. Right. Well, better get ourselves down south. Raising class rank. Earn enough class points through battle and the class's rank will increase. You can obtain class ranks by spending non-pawn coins. Each class comes with one art mastered from the start, but to master the other art skills, talent, talent arts, you'll need to, tr to raise the class ranks sufficiently. Class ranks are normally count on rank 10, but by completing a certain quest, you can unlock the ability to increase the rank beyond that. They feature fostering classes. If you go to character's class, and press the R, you can see detailed info on the second selected classes, including the arts and skills you can master by increasing the rank. Classes are graded on a scale of S, A, B, C, D in these areas. Sword equals defense, shield equals defense, heart equals healing, chest piece equals difficulty of player control. Keep it, keep it in mind. The character comp comp compatibility with the class is also graded. Using a compatible, ca compatible character increases the CP again. Gain, which making it grow faster, so to keep this in mind as well. Stats are size oh man, so many of these tutorials! These arts grant you a special effect with, that will last for a while. You can tell the effects duration by the ribbons of the light surround the character. It will continue until the light fades. However, characters can only have one stance active at a time, so be mindful. If you enter a stance with the last one, when the last, last one is active, its effects will be overridden by a new one. You can now change classes and edit master arts again. Be sure to try out, try out all sorts of combinations. Okay, pretty good. There's a lot of uh, tutorialing, and uh, I think this Ouroboros power. We need to learn how to uh, use it most effectively. What kind of place is this? This means to go this way. Ready to Ordell Raven Way, and I'm actually gonna end this episode off here, guys. So, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play 4 Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.